YouTube. So excited today. But, um, not about day 10 of our holiday, been in Sri Lanka, me and my beautiful wife Catherine, we on a holiday in Sri Lanka. Um, we spent the first week in Goa, which was beautiful. But it was the rainy right season. What time do you want till? We didn't really see in all its beauty, so to speak. But uh, yeah, we've come to Sri Lanka last Saturday. Traveling since we went from Colombo up to uh, Habanara. From there, bear with me, I'm going to show clips in between what we've done. We're on a, we've been on a safari. We've climbed a mountain. We've, uh, we've been to Dambola Temple. We've been up another mountain which was adjacent to the Lion Rock, Lion Rock Fortress, which is the one. Everyone goes to it. But as a little tip, if you go to the rock next to the Lion Rock called Pitarangala, it costs a fraction of the price again. It costs two pounds fifty, five hundred rupees to get in there. And um, it, as opposed to the seven thousand rupees, which is thirty five quid, forty quid to get up to Lion Rock. Lion well, Rock's nice, we went there last year. But we wanted to go to Pitarangala this time so we could take photos of Lion Rock. Epic, I'll put a photo up here now. Epic photo. Put it up here now. Uh, and then from then we spent two, two and a half, three days there. And then from there we come out to Candy. And last night we was at the Candy Parahala Festival. I'll show you a few photos and a little a couple of video clips over here. <laughs> Great festival, really recommend it. If you come to Sri Lanka, come in August, June, the festival is on for two weeks. They do it every night for two weeks. Brilliant, brilliant, great, great entertainment. Dancing people, fire eaters, fire throwers, swordsmen, buglers, drummers, dancers, elephants, 80 elephants, all great delights. A little bit sad because some of them were in chains. Um, but the festival itself was second to Brilliant festival. And what else? What else did we do yesterday? I forget what we did. We've done so much, so much. We've been to a, a tea factory today. We've been to botanical gardens. We're at the Royal Botanical Gardens. Yeah. I got, I got an epic a photo of some monks, and I got an epic photo of some monks. They're really, really nice, really gracious about it, and I, like. They asked for my photo after so I've got a photo with me with some monks, but I sort of photo up on their group shot if you like. I've got their group shot. I'll stick that up and show it to you then. It's a great photo. But I've got an obsession with monks. I've followed them around botanical gardens, taking photos of them everywhere. So fun, so funny. And to be fair to them, they were nice people. Anyway, why I'm here. We stay in a place called Nura Ella. Spectacular. If you come to Sri Lanka, come to Nura Ella. Come on the road from Colombo to Nura Ella. It's windy, it's high. The views are honest, second to none, out of this world, second to none. Yeah, beautiful views. Honestly, you've got to come here. I've never seen anything like this. I'm here today. We're in a hotel. It's called Duri, bear with, bear with, Duri Yala Lodge Hotel. It's right at the head of a valley. I'm looking down here, the sun is setting right down the head of this valley. I'll show you the brief clip of it here. But as you're looking at it, look down the middle there where you see the sun, the sun is setting there. I've got lakes, I've got tea plantations on this side, I've got tea plantations on that side, a couple of hotels in the wall there. Just over here through these trees is the Rambola waterfalls, which is walking distance from here. We're going to go and get to that tomorrow. I'll take photos of that. It's just here, just through these trees. It's a spectacular. This view is spectacular. It really is. Anyway, I wasn't going to do any vlogs while I'm here, but I couldn't resist this, this view. So this is my vlog for this one photo. We're getting close to Golden Hour now. Golden Hour is in about another 
two or three minutes so it's ten to six here at the moment it's probably about one in the afternoon back home ten to six here but yeah this view I couldn't resist it I have to do it I have to do the vlog so what we've got here I've got a 16 to 35 mil lens on L series f4 I've opened it up to f9 um, the view I'm taking here um, if you, you probably can't see up this mountain but top of this mountain I've got some clouds just here to the left of me not so many here just start to touch the mountains here on the right I don't think I'll get them in the photo because just down below me there's some sheds and I've got to zoom in a little bit to cut them sheds out so I think I'm missing out on the clouds up there it might be another shot that I'll take afterwards if the sun hits the side of these mountains this is my main focus here at the moment so I'm, I'm going straight down the valley straight down here the sun's going to set there straight down there's two lakes <coughs> I'm going to get that with the mist and the blue mountains and the sun and the clouds it's going to look spectacular I know it is I'm bracketing one shot either side F9 ISO 100 and I'm getting a shot speed at the moment of 160 I'll focus to infinity because there's so much to see just so much to see Focus to infinity, bracket in, and now all I've got to do is sit and wait. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back. My wife's here. Hello. On the balcony. So yeah, what I've done is I'll talk you through the composition, tea plantations, tea plantations, lakes, valley, layers of mountains and a sunset going on there as well. Beautiful. I'm talking through my settings, my own shot speed has cropped a bit or two. Still at F9, still at ISO 100. I've locked off the focus on infinity. I've turned off the image stabiliser because as it starts going off it'll start shaking. If I don't want to try to turn off your image stabiliser, that's off. You don't need it if you haven't tried that anyway. Mirror lock is up. Again, that stops some of the shake and a bit of flapping about. Anyway, I'm just going to fire off shots. And I'll show you the best one. Here we go. 10 second timer. I want a 10 second timer because I want to travel tripod. And if you lift up the middle section, it wobbles a bit. Beautiful. Show them to now. So yeah, remember, come to Sri Lanka, travel the Colombo to the Ella Road, study, it's a stunning road from Warwindy all the way up and you go up to about 1,100 metres to Nura Ella. There's tea plantations all along the way. You can stop and look at all the views down there, but there's views everywhere. There's waterfalls, if you're a waterfall chaser, I saw about six or seven today inside of a couple of hours, all along the road, all right the side of the road. If you stop, walk up, take a photo of a waterfall, here's a couple. Waterfall, brilliant, do it. Anyway, thank you very much. Love you all, there are a bit.